Hello fish friends, today's a special edition. I can't believe it, um, you know, I love the channel, I love fishing, I love teaching the kids, taking the kids fishing, and all of that, um, and it's it's slowly grown. I've never once done the ask to subscribe thing or any of that stuff, I just let word of mouth and my friends tell my friends, and we are broke 50. We have broke 50 subscribers, I never thought we'd do that, so I've been doing it about two and a half years now. Hopefully everybody's enjoyed some of the footage, hopefully you've learned some. But I just want to tell you thank you to each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart for taking part. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, fish friends. I'm going to give it another shot here. Had some pretty good luck here last week. Caught a small bass, a bunch of medium sized bluegills, and that big carp. So, same thing except for today, two worm poles like I did before. And I'm going to put a brim on one of them and chunk him out there. See if I can pick up a bass. Wish me luck. Okay, I just fished real close to get me a little brown. Look at there, all right. Get him back here where it won't hurt him. Keep him alive. But he'll be swimming a little crazy. All right, we're gonna go about that deep. And we're gonna see if there's some bass over here. Okay, I just had one. Some picked up that brim real quick and just took off for the bank. But when I went to set the hook, I didn't have him. I was nowhere near him. Look at there. Okay, now this is one of those ones I was talking about a couple of weeks ago that I don't think is a red ear sunfish. I caught one in that, uh, I, what, my little creek down by my house. But see him? It got that red ear. But I don't think that's a shell cracker. Uh oh, look at that. That's something running with the brim. That's something running with the brim. Oh, he got off. So anyways, this is the kind I was telling you about. See that red ear? Look at that. And he got it on both sides. Nice long, longer fish. It's not as stocky as a normal bluegill. So I don't know what they are. But I catch one every now and then. He's too big to use for bait. I don't know if he's any bigger than the other one. Or he's smaller, I'm wanting smaller. Not what I wanted. Mr. Turtle. And where'd I got you? I got you in a pole. Stop. Stop. Let me get you. Let me get you. All right. Go. Go on home. Go on home. That joker beelined it over there. I saw him. Just hung into something here. What is it? Oh, it's just a good bluegill. My gosh. Look at that one. There's another red ear. This is about my fourth or fifth one. I'm not gonna film every single one of them, but I wanna show everybody. It's, uh, I caught the one in the creek, and I was all like, oh yeah, are these red ear sunfish? I don't think they are. It's a good little pond brim there. Um, he's got a little length on him. He's built a little different than a, a normal stocky bluegill. Um, maybe I'm, hopefully I'm getting him there. He's built a little different, a little long, and he was fighting me pretty good. This is my Shimano Madam Light GT fighting rod with a 2,500 and 8 pound test. So, uh, you know, it's gonna give you a little bit of a fight. Be free! All right, that was pretty good. Well, I've kept one out. I had three runs. One of them I did verify as a turtle. I saw the turtle. Um, but I was constantly keeping a real small brim. The little ones I catch up by the side out there as bait. Till next time, everybody. Take care and keep fishing.